All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and the sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this topic of polygamy, you know, which is scriptural, you know, and it's also uh, a prophecy, you know, in the, in the scriptures, you know, about what is coming back, you know. But on this side, we we're we're face, facing general I mean genocide Salakia, so like you know, and we're also facing a lot of uh immor immorality, you know, with our women, you know, for for America to be a so called monogamous uh society, the women aren't with their original men, you know? And the thing is that According to the Bible, the women were were virgins. You know, that was that was a special thing. You know, but these women want you to be monogamous with them, but they got so many bodies on them. You know, these women want you to be monogamous, but then they come with children. So this society really isn't the 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 place to be trying to have multiple wives in. You know, but at the same time, as you can see with Abraham, right, which is our forefather, you know, he had Sarah as his wife, you know, then Isaac, right, Rebecca, Rebecca had Jacob and Esau, right? Now, Jacob is our forefather, you know, got his name changed to Israel, you know, Israelites are just the, the, the sons of Jacob, you know. In front of twelve trop one of his twelve children. Now look at Jacob. He had two wives and two concubines, right? And look how many children he had. So polygamy is actually scriptural, you know? One man can have three hundred and sixty five babies in a year. But a woman, you know, she get lucky, probably twins, you know. You, 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 but but it's nothing comparable to how many uh, children a man can have. If there was one man left in the world, and it was ten women, right? At the end of the day, after a year, he get he get all those women pregnant. What's well, going to be like twenty two children, twenty one, you know. But if there's one woman left in the world, and it's ten men. That woman can only get pregnant by one man. You know? And the scriptures say, be fruitful and multiply. And I'll get that, you know, and and uh as as I go along the video. But more specifically, polygamy is a righteous act, you know, when it's done the right way. You see, in this society, you got people who are against polygamy. But then at the same time, they support the LGBT community, you know, and the LGBT community is like, first off, these homosexuals, they can't reproduce, you know, ain't nothing coming up out of that, you know, but with polygamy is more people, you know, and it's actually a lot of pros to polygamy. More so than it is cons. A lot of people just look at it from the, and, and it's mostly the women, you know. They look at it from a con standpoint. And this society is, it, like I said, is genocide. You got the plant parenthood, you know. You got uh, the women who want to be independent, you know. And and it's all crazy. So to try to be uh, polygamous in a society when the women aren't with their right man. You know, or, or that first man, I should say, the fathers aren't giving away their daughters, you know, of course it's not the right place to be doing that. You know, we shouldn't be in the, the, the mindset of trying to multiply wives, you know, or multiply women, you know, but at the same time, a lot of people don't even understand why polygamy is illegal, you know, they don't question that. But in this society, we're supposed to uphold the law and, 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 and try, not the law, but they, try, they uphold the Bible, 
they just legalized gay merch. You know? But um let me get into some scriptures, you know. Uh this society is just, you know, completely they done completely flipped everything upside down. You know? This is Genesis one and twenty seven. It says, so God created man in his own image. And the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. You know, Adam and Eve wasn't just one person. You know, and this scripture proves that, you know. It says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. You know, as this picture shows, this is how you are fruitful and multiply. Women aren't able to multiply. You know, they're only able to add, you know, but a man, when done the right way, according to what the Lord says, according to what the Bible says, a man is able to, to, to be fruitful and multiply, you know, and another thing that this society says is once you're 18, you know, you got to be, um, you're, 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 you're a grown woman, you know, where do they get that from? But in these other societies, they don't go by that, you know. We go by according to what nature is, you know. This this society doesn't go according to what nature nature uh, what, you know, according to the Lord, man. Um, Second Samuel, twelve and seven, and Nathan said to David, "Thou art the man." Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. I mean, I said, "Thou thou art the man." Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul, and I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's wives into thy bosom, and I gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah, and if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things, you know? So the Lord basically was telling King David, you know, hey, you are the man, man. And and basically, like, I, I done gave you your master house and his wives. And if that was little, man, I would have gave you more. You know? So the Lord is, is for, for polygamy. You know? This is, a, this is the law. Exodus 21 and 10. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage so he not diminish. You know? You're not supposed to be sitting up there just doing away with your women, you know. When you when you you know outside of adultery, you know. But this this, this scripture clearly says if you take him another wife, so clearly it says that polygamy is okay, right? And I'm just read this this line. It says uh Deuteronomy twenty one and fifteen. If a man have two wives, right, one beloved and another hated, you know, that's just one line, you know. Um, 1 Corinthians 11 and 8, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man, you know. You see, we, we you, you see, the, the thing is, man, in this society, man, you, you got these niggas who want to put big up the woman, man, you know. The black woman is God and, you know, claiming that they're Egyptologists, man. But where are the people that, that live in Africa? Where, where are they at, man? Like, are they conscious? You know, those people was uh, complete zombies over there, man. But like I said, the, the, it said the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. So we, do, the men are the ones who get who give the life, man, you know. And we're fruitful and we multiply, man. We and, and and out of that, man, that the women come, man. Because we're supposed to be the, the, the head of the households, man. It says, uh, the next verse, neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. You know? In this society, we got guys who basically big up the woman, you know? They 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 let the woman control them. Whatever the woman want to want to do, you know, this is okay, baby. It's all what you whatever you want to do, you know. That's what these niggas be thinking, man. You know, but the scriptures say that the man wasn't created for the for the woman. You know, the woman was created for the man to serve your man. 
you know? And I'm speaking from experience, man. You know? I done went through, you know, that that crazy stuff, you know, with the being weak to a woman, you know? I I was in, in the mindset of, oh, the monogamy is the way to go, you know? That's the that's the right thing, you know? That's what I was really thinking until the Lord woke me up and I had to start seeing things from the Lord's eyes, you know? Now, um, as I said, like, these women, you know, they, they come with children as is, you know? But um, this is a scripture. Psalms 27 and 3. I mean, 127 and 3. Low children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that has a, his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. You know? So basically, the Lord, the, the, the children are a heritage of, of Yahweh Sin Yahweh man. And it said the fruit of the womb is his reward, man. And as you can see, this Abraham was fruitful, you know, and Jacob was fruitful, you know, and 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 that's a beautiful thing. It says happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. In this society, you know, if you got a lot of children, people look down on you like, man, something messed up with you, you know, or you 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 you, you keep on having all these children, you know. I know you're getting a lot of uh, food stamps or or a lot of uh, tax money. You know, that's the that's the way these niggas be thinking, man. But the, what the scriptures say, man, that the, the, the womb is his reward. So the Lord, back in the day, people was, it, it was actually a good thing, man, being able to have a lot of children. And if you didn't have uh, children, if, you're, if your womb was burned, you know, that was a bad thing. But nowadays, these women out here, oh, I'm on birth control. You know, I don't want I don't want this. You know, I don't want that. Why? Because they got three children from three different baby fathers, you know? It's all it's all shameful over here, man. Now this is uh just for edification. This is uh Genesis forty one and fifty two. It says in the name of the second he I mean called he Ephraim, you know, which is a pariyum. You know, in the uh, Hebrew, the Ephraimites, according to the scriptures, you know, in, in present day are the so-called Puerto Ricans. It says, for God have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction, you know, and that's basically what um, Ephraim is. You know, these Puerto Ricans, they're, they're so-called Puerto Ricans, they're fruitful, you know, in the land of their affliction, you know. Uh, and I wanted to get on to how it was a prophecy, you know, according to the scriptures. Um, I'm going to go to Isaiah chapter 3. Um, I'm going to go to the 25th verse. It says, uh, Isaiah 3 and 25. Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. And her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground, you know. So the thing is, in America, it's going to be martial law, you know, the, the, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, according to the scriptures. You're going to have a lot of uh, people dying out here, man, because the, the so-called white man is the sword of the Lord, you know. So a lot of these people, when, when the government, you know, shut down the dollar bill collapse, you know, a lot of things that you, as you know it, is going to uh, cease to exist, man. A lot, two thirds of our people got to die. You know, in order for for the righteous kingdom to come, you know, the right a righteous society where peace and happiness dwell, you know, but a lot of men are going to die. You know, and it says her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So you never know what these females out here are going to see, man. You know, they can see their best friend get killed. You know, that man get killed or whatever the case may be. But at the same time, a lot of people going to be dying, man. They're going to be getting killed. You know, a lot of wicked people going to be getting killed. Right. And at that time, it says Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man 
than the golden wedge of Ophir, you know? So at that time when all these guys died, the wicked people, man, the 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 the, the, the righteous men going to stand out. The man, the Lord, Yahweh Sin Yahshah, is going to make that man more precious than gold, you know? So everything that you know right now, you know, is going to cease to exist. And these guys are going to be getting killed, right? In Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women, which seven is the number of completion, you know, that don't mean just seven women, you know, it's going to be, it could be multiple women, man. It says seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, you know, so these women going to be catching hell, you know, when that time come. You know, the Lord going to make the, the his men stand out, you know. And honestly, I'm going to get this scripture. This is Luke 18 and 29. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that have left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to come everlasting? What I mean, come left life everlasting, you know. So, we're going to have everlasting life, man. But at the same time, we're going to have houses, parents, you know, the, the, the brethren, you know, our wife, children, you know, we're going to have a lot of that, man, in the kingdom, you know. But order got to get restored, man. And when that happens, right, this is Isaiah 60 and 21. It says, thy people also shall be all righteous. So all of our people are going to be righteous. They're going to come back in their right mind. You know, it says, they shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may, I may be glorified. A little one shall be a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. You see, like a lot of people, they, they look at polygamy as a horrible thing, you know? And, and you got people who, who actually think that they believe in the Bible. They go to church all day, every uh, everything, you know? But at the same time, that's not even, that's not even hard to get, man. You know? Like I said, we're not in the time of... of trying to multiply wives because the time is short you know and the scriptures say that those who have wives be as though that they have none you know so with the prophecies being fulfilled and and people getting killed man like well a lot of people are going to be getting killed man like we need to be in the mindset of like the the, the kingdom you know and achieving that because a lot of these women aren't in their right mind but at the same time you got people who don't believe in or don't want to follow or, or accept polygamy in the Bible, right? But then you also, they, they believe in the Bible, you know? But they, they just big hypocrites, man, you know? Because when it's done the right way, you know, and it's not done the right way in this society, you know? These guys be having, it, what, what? How, how many women is it, you know, compared to men? These women be side, side chicks and all that, you know? And then a lot of these guys be having... You know, uh, side chicks, man. You know? So, at the same time, this society is pretty much a polygamous, adulterous society, man. So, it's not the, the, the society to be done in. But at the same time, if a woman was married, according to the scriptures, and her husband died, the, the brother would have to go into her. Are people doing that? No. So, at the same time, this is what the Lord said to do. You know, to be fruitful and multiply. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven with everlasting life, you know. And it's not about uh, trying to multiply women just for the sake of, of, of doing that. But if, if that's your woman, man, that's that. Who the hell, how can somebody tell you what to do with your possession, man? Because the scriptures say that the woman was made for the man, you know. So in the kingdom, ain't nobody going to be sitting up there looking at your woman. Your woman ain't going to be sitting up there going out with all type of crazy clothes on or anything like that, man. You know, your, the women are going to be in order, man. 
You know, and that would be the most beautiful thing that we could ever imagine, man. We can't even imagine the things that the Lord have in store for us, man. And with that, I'm going to close and I'm going to say Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the sincere Shalom to all the Aki and my own hair that's doing it, pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Shalom.